This is a great question from Amy in response to a previous video I did about magnesium deficiency in Hashimoto's. So today what I want to do is sort of elaborate on the various options that are available to patients with hypothyroidism if they want to supplement with magnesium. If you weren't already aware, magnesium can come bound to various compounds and substances and the, depending on what it's bound to sort of impacts where it's going to go once it's inside of the body. There are a number of different magnesium formulations that you can use as a thyroid patient, but I'm going to talk about three that I think are probably the best. The first is magnesium glycinate. Some people will call it glycinate. doesn't really matter. We're talking about the same thing here. Magnesium glycinate is great at getting magnesium into the entire body. So if you're someone trying to take magnesium to support your thyroid more generally, then magnesium glycinate is a great option. In terms of dosing, you want to look for a dose around 150 to 300 milligrams per day as a starting dose. Another good option to consider is magnesium citrate. Magnesium citrate is better for those thyroid patients who suffer from constipation because a lot of it stays inside the intestinal tract and helps you with constipation by making your stools a little looser. The dosing on magnesium citrate is much more variable, and I've seen people take as much as 1,000 milligrams per day. If you are using magnesium citrate, you will probably need to use higher doses because not all of that magnesium is actually getting into your body. In fact, most of it is staying in your intestinal tract to help with your constipation. An easy way to dose it is to just to start at 150 milligram increments or 100 milligram increments and slowly increase your dose until you start developing loose stools. At that point, you can pull back on your dose and you know where you need to stay. A third option to consider would be to use magnesium 3 and 8. Magnesium 3 and 8 is better for those people who are suffering from symptoms such as depression, anxiety, or brain fog. The reason for this is magnesium 3 and 8 is bound to something that helps or is designed to help get that magnesium into your brain where your brain then utilizes it. A good starting dose for magnesium 3 and 8 is around 2,000 milligrams taken every day. As you can see, there are a lot of different ways to get magnesium into your body, and depending on which type you use, you may experience different benefits. The key here is to use a good quality source of magnesium while avoiding a bad source such as magnesium oxide so you can actually obtain these benefits. As a quick recap, you'll want to use magnesium glycinate for general thyroid function, magnesium citrate if you have gastrointestinal problems, and magnesium threonate if you have brain problems.